Welcome everyone to the Cooperative Strategic Leadership End-to-End -end Strategic Process with me, Art Sherwood, and Michael Healy. In this first chapter, we're going to give an overview. First, I'm going to talk about the purpose of the series. Second, I'll touch on why it's important. And finally, we'll talk about how it builds on the foundations and we'll frame the whole thing up. So talking about the purpose, our cooperatives, as you know, are democratic organizations. And in our democratic organizations, it's vital that the values and the voice of the owners comes out. It really matters. And the board plays an important link to these values and voices, makes decisions on their behalf, and those that use the governance system uh, called policy governance have this thing called ends, which really are a set of decisions about the outcomes and stakeholders that the organization exists to produce and to benefit. So this set of ends really can become part of the strategic process. Well, at least it should and it could, but oftentimes ends are tacked on as a thing that has to be done, a checklist that is next to the real strategy, next to the real plan. An alternative way, in a much more powerful way that we believe uh, this could be done, and many cooperatives across the nation are doing, is that ENDS becomes the umbrella organi organizational uh, directional statements. The ones that really is not only something that the organization is held accountable to, but really becomes what they drive toward, what they strive to accomplish. And that this uh, set of actions ultimately can become what happens daily inside the organization. So what we're going to do is we're going to frame this whole piece up and then dive into the practical nature of how to make this ends-to-ends -ends strategic process come alive. As I said earlier, this is really built on a foundation of knowledge that has been building for years by a whole bunch of really uh, talented folks. And CSL, or Cooperative Strategic Leadership, isn't a replacement for good, solid accountability governance. Rather, it's a way to enhance the leadership ability of the teams of leaders inside our cooperatives. And it's a process where once the decisions are made by the board of directors, the general manager can take the end's decisions, turn them into plans, then to actions, and all along the process, tell the story of the incredible outcomes and those that are being benefited. And all of these components are critical pieces of strategy. So here's an overview of the process. You start with your ends, and this moves on to interpretation. Interpretations then lead to strategic plans. Strategic plans then lead to operational plans, which you act on. You check the make sure that you're making progress and you make adjustments along the way. This then ultimately is recorded and reported out and brought back to the folks that had originally written the ends or the board of directors. All along the way, each of these different uh, stages, there's an opportunity for really sharing ends out for everybody. So ends for everybody, telling the story of those that are benefiting and the incredible outcomes that our cooperatives are creating. So here's the overview of the chapters that we will be going through. In chapter one, I will uh, be doing what I'm doing right here. Chapter two, Michael will pick it up and talk about convert, taking ends and translating those into interpretations. I'll take the handoff and go into chapter three, where I'll talk about turning interpretations into strategic plans and continue on talking about turning strategic planning into action. Michael will pick it back up and talk about ends reporting. And finally, in Chapter 6, he'll talk about communicating ends. And in each one of the different stages, we'll talk about ends for everybody and how ends can really be part of the narrative of the cooperative. It should be a good series, and we look forward to sharing what we've put together.